All right, Sagittarius, these are going to be your guidance cards for the week of December 6th through December 12th. We are almost to December 14th, which is that new moon in Sagittarius. And we have that solar eclipse is happening in Sagittarius. And Sagittarius is all about um, the new, bringing in all that new energy. And um, that solar eclipse is all bringing in all those new blessings. Um, we just finished with that full moon lunar eclipse in Gemini. Uh, that portal is still open, so it is possible um, that you're still feeling that energy. You're still releasing those past hurts. Um, you're still completing, coming to the completion of those major life cycles with that eclipse being with that full moon uh, lets me know that these are um, long-term um, completions, right? So I have noticed in the readings that some of that energy is still coming up. Um, because the portal is open before and after of the actual um, day of the full moon and the eclipse, um, it is, you know, we, we don't experience it all on the same day, right? So I have seen some signs um, have gone through it and are past it and some are still um, in the portal still experiencing that uh, painful release so let's see Sagittarius how you're getting through the energies all right look at that the bottom of the deck is the two of water And your guidance card is the Four of Air. I do want to mention, um, I did do a video on that uh, full moon lunar eclipse in Gemini. So make sure to watch that video if you haven't. It's about 15 minutes long. Um, but really kind of explains the energies that we're in and why you might be feeling um, the way that you're feeling, Sagittarius. I am shuffling this week. I didn't shuffle last last week. Um, if you're new to the channel, we're kind of taking a vote. Um, just in the comment box, let me know. Shuffle, don't shuffle. I kind of like having it already done and laid out, ready to go. Um, but I have gotten a lot of requests to uh, shuffle during the video. So, like I said, we'll just tally it up and we'll see how it goes. All right, Sagittarius. So, energy of the week. Wow, look at that. The Nine of Cups. A challenge or obstacle that you might face this week you got the ace of Pentacles a lesson you've already learned that can help you with that challenge or obstacle you got the eight of Pentacles I see a lot of Pentacles here and then outcome for the week Wow look at that so Sagittarius I'm not surprised to see that you have already went through the purging you did release all those past hurts You've completed all your life cycles and you are moving on to a new part of your journey. And let's see. I am going to add the Moonology Oracles as a permanent part of our weekly guidance videos. Um, I brought them in, if you remember, right around that new moon in Scorpio. The emotions were so intense that I just felt like they were really helpful. Um, the messages were really helpful um, giving us guidance with our emotions. Um, but we are still in that phase, right? That new moon in Scorpio is what brought in that full moon. And now we're waiting for that new moon in Sagittarius to bring us all those new energies. Um, so it's, they're still working, but I think I feel like I'm just going to add them permanently. Um, so oracles are worded messages, um, that are just straight into the point, And I feel like they're really helpful. So we're going to keep them, but I will turn this one over last. All right, Sagittarius, let's get started. So, um, you got the Nine of Cups as your energy of the week, and the Nine of Cups is all about a wish being granted. It's a divine wish being granted. Um, it's about a feeling of um, you're happy. You, whatever you wish for, your wish was granted, and you are happy. Um, however, you do have this Ace of Pentacles in your challenge or obstacles, and, and to me, that means that you're waiting for something new that has to do um, with your things, your worth, your pinnacles are like your money. Um, so this could be about a job, a career, that kind of situation. Um, but I do feel like you've been working towards something and you're waiting for this new opportunity to come in 
Uh, and it's possible that you're not seeing it because right now we just did all that releasing, right? We let go so that we can make room for the new energy and the new blessings. Um, and those are December 14th. Yes, the portal is open before and after. Um, so it's possible those new energies are going to come in um, anywhere in between the time that that portal is open. Um, but what's happening right now is we've all done all that releasing and letting go. So we're kind of like in this fog and this confusion of... Where am I going next? So I'm not too surprised to see that Ace of Pentacles in your challenges or obstacles. Now, a lesson that you've already learned that can help you with that challenge or obstacle, you did get the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is all about working hard. Um, you can see he's focused. Um, he's starting to line his um, work up here and he can see what he has built. Um, the Ten of Pentacles is the top, right? That's your goal. And he's almost there. And he can actually start to see that he's almost there. So I do feel like with that being in your challenges and obstacles, it does tell me um, that you're able to see where all this hard work um, that you've put in, where all this, whether this is spiritual work or this is actual physical work, um, you've put this hard work in and you're just waiting for this, um, this uh, the universe or, or God or spirit or however you want to see it. You're waiting for this new offer to come in. Um, and what happens at the end of the week here, Sagittarius, is you're victorious. So the Six of Wands is about victory. He rides in victorious. So whatever it is that you've been working really hard on, um, just we're all going to be closer to that new moon in Sagittarius, right, at the end of this week. So we're all going to start to see those new blessings come in. And we're all going to be victorious, right, at the end of the week. And then your bottom of the deck energy um, I got from my dreams of Gaia. The bottom of the deck energy tells me what the energy is for the whole deck. And it tells me what to do with this guidance card, right? So I just want to read a couple of the keywords for the two of water. So we can kind of get an idea of what we're doing with our guidance card here. So the two of water is about intimacy, closeness, trust, commitment. Um, it is about reconciliation. Um, it says equality, union, and taking sides. Um, a time to forgive and seek reconciliation. A meeting of minds and hearts. Put aside judgment and blame and cherish all of your loves. And then your guidance card is the four of, um, I'm sorry, the nine of air. And it's about self-awareness. Um, consciousness, understanding, insight, visit, vision, uh, creativity. Be open to possibilities. Possibilities are infinite. Know thyself and know the universe. What dwells within you dwells within nature. Um, so there's something about being self-aware or having a universal um, conscious knowing to something that is intimate for you. Um, if you do feel like you're having to take sides in some sort of situation, try to be as equal as possible. And remember that the common goal is union. All right. And then your Lunology Oracle Sagittarius, you got, wow, this is like the fourth or fifth one. New Moon and Sagittarius. <laughs> Luck is on your side. I can't remember. I think it was like Gemini. Um, there's a couple of them that they got their sign for their moon oracle. So I just feel like that is perfect. All right, Sagittarius, that is your weekly guidance. Have a great week. Thank you so much for watching. And again, if this feels like your tribe, please subscribe.